Liam Norwell ripped out the heart of the Essex batting lineup as they lost all 10 of their wickets for 98 runs on the first day of the LV County Championship match with Gloucestershire in Chelmsford. Putting in after a missing morning because of the weather, Essex would have been delighted with the start given to them by Nick Brown and Jake Mickleborough, the two simply picking up where they left off last time out in the rain-affected draw with Surrey last week. The rain possibly preventing Essex from winning for the seventh match in succession. This time these two opened up with a stand of 61 and all was looking rosy in the Essex Garden once again. It was Craig Miles who opened the game up by having Brown taken down the leg side by Gareth Roderick for 19 and then Norwell took over. His first five overs had been wicketless and had cost 20 runs, so there may have been some surprise when he got one through Mickleborough to send him on his way for a neatly constructed 42. In his next over, Norwell then saw the back of Daniel Lawrence, who edged to Chris Dent before he could repeat his heroics from the oval. It was three in 11 deliveries for Norwell when James Foster, in at number four, went in a similar fashion to Lawrence for a single. And it was four wickets in 16 balls for the 23-year-old as Jesse Ryder left his bat out to dry, giving Roderick some more work as Essex suddenly found themselves on 82 for five. Norwell's four had come at the expense of just one run, but he wasn't the only bowler to cause problems. David Payne returned to the attack and had Kishen Villani squared up and caught by Dent. Catch number three for the slipper after so many had been spilled in Gloucestershire's last game. And worse followed for the home team just two balls later when Graham Napier drilled a drive straight to Will Tabaret, a wicket which left Essex on 98 for 7. That became 106 for 8 as Miles found the edge of Greg Smith's bat on the drive. The first game of this ground was over in a flash as wickets fell over and over again and this was no different. Debutant Adil Malik showed what was possible though with this 6. The brother of Shoei Malik has been training with Essex in the winter and signed a three-month contract last week. He looks like he knows one end of a bat from the other. It took a very good ball from Payne to remove him for 25 after 24 runs have been added for the ninth wicket. The previous eight had fallen for just 45 runs and it took some more from David Masters at the end of the innings to at least give the home side something to bowl at. Masters made 26 before he was the last one out with a total on 159. Given the events in that low-scoring win over Kent at this ground a couple of weeks ago, Essex would still have been hopeful of using the remaining time of the day to grab a few wickets of their own. Gloucestershire, though, had shown some fight with the bat in the second innings of their heavy defeat to Derbyshire last week, and Dent and Tavare made it look like it was the Essex batsman at fault rather than the pitch and the conditions that they batted solidly. However, there were a few moments of concern. Dent took a ball from Jamie Porter on the helmet, while Tavare was just able to play this short delivery from Napier into the ground just in front of short leg. It meant that this was very much Gloucestershire's day, Dent taking his boundary count to six by the time stumps were drawn. By then, the two visiting openers had knocked off 77 runs without loss, Dent on 42 and Tavare on 32, and so Gloucestershire will enter the second day just 82 runs behind and with a chance of taking complete control of this game.